Babylon's Ark, The Incredible Wartime Rescue of the Baghdad Zoo, by Lawrence Anthony is a poignant and heartwarming non-fiction account of a daring and remarkable animal rescue mission in the midst of the Iraq War. Anthony, known for his work as a conservationist in his earlier book, The Elephant Whisperer, takes readers on a gripping journey to save the animals of the Baghdad Zoo, shedding light on the horrors of war and the resilience of both humans and animals. The book's narrative unfolds in the heart of Baghdad, Iraq, in the early 2000s during the U.S. invasion. Anthony, an experienced conservationist, is unexpectedly called upon to lead an audacious mission to rescue the animals trapped in the war-torn city. He is confronted with the immense challenge of saving the lives of a wide variety of animals, from lions and tigers to bears and monkeys, all of which are caught in the crossfire of a devastating conflict. The narrative structure is compelling, offering a unique perspective on the Iraq War. Anthony's storytelling skillfully interweaves the personal experiences of those involved in the rescue mission, including soldiers, veterinarians, and local Iraqis. This multifaceted approach gives the reader a more comprehensive understanding of the challenges faced by all parties and the remarkable spirit of collaboration that emerges in the direst of circumstances. One of the most remarkable aspects of the book is the emotional depth it achieves. It delves into the individual personalities and stories of the animals, which adds a layer of empathy and connection to the narrative. The reader becomes emotionally invested in the fate of these animals, as they each have their own unique struggles and personalities. This element of the book not only tugs at the heartstrings but also underscores the importance of preserving our planet's biodiversity. The author's vivid descriptions make the chaotic wartime setting come alive, transporting the reader to the heart of Baghdad. His writing is evocative and immersive, allowing readers to witness the devastation, chaos, and resilience of the people and animals in the war-torn city. Anthony's descriptions of the animals and their behaviors are particularly engaging, making the book accessible to both animal enthusiasts and general readers. Babylon's Ark also delves into the ethical and moral dilemmas faced by those involved in the rescue mission. Should limited resources be used to save animals when human lives are also at risk? The book raises thought-provoking questions about the value of animal life in the context of a humanitarian crisis. It challenges readers to consider the significance of preserving the natural world even in the face of human-made catastrophes. The book excels in highlighting the power of individuals to make a positive impact during times of crisis. Lawrence Anthony's unwavering determination and compassion, combined with the dedication of the people he works with, demonstrate the potential for humanity to rise above adversity in adversity. The narrative also emphasizes the importance of international collaboration and cooperation in the face of global challenges. While the book primarily focuses on the rescue mission, it also touches upon the broader issues of wildlife conservation and the devastating consequences of war on both human and animal populations. Readers gain a deeper appreciation for the interconnectedness of all life on Earth and the responsibilities we hold in preserving it. Despite the many strengths of Babylon's Ark, it's important to note that the book may not be suitable for those seeking an in-depth analysis of the political and military aspects of the Iraq War. The narrative primarily revolves around the animal rescue mission, and while it provides glimpses into the war's impact on the city, it does not offer an exhaustive exploration of the conflict's complexities. In conclusion, Babylon's Ark by Lawrence Anthony is a compelling and emotionally charged account of a remarkable animal rescue mission in the midst of war. It successfully combines elements of adventure, empathy, and ethical reflection. The book stands as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the enduring bond between humans and animals. It is a must-read for those interested in wildlife conservation, animal welfare, 
and the power of compassion in the face of adversity. Anthony's storytelling is both engaging and informative, making it a valuable addition to the literary landscape of animal-related nonfiction.